Hello, Scorpio. It is time for your reading of mid March or mid February to March of this current year, 2019. It's 19, right? How y'all doing? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is general, so don't get in a tiffy if it doesn't sound right for you. I'm still taking personal readings. Um, just hit me up with the email below and I'll get to you when I can. And I take my PayPal's in the description as well. So you can leave me a donation. I don't like charging for my readings, but I do like tips. I like tips. I'm not smart ass tips that you write on a receipt. Scorpio. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. That was kind of a, like hit or miss, but it's whatever. Anyway, we're doing Thunderdome, so there's going to be two readings for you and possibly somebody you're dealing with, so pick who you are and we'll see from there. No whammies. Group one, this is you. We have King of Swords reversed. Nine of Wands. Six of Swords reversed. The Sun reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Swords reversed with the beginning theme being Three of Wands reversed. Someone's done with waiting. Someone's done with keeping their patience. They don't want to wait anymore. Nothing's coming to them. Fuck it. Right? Right. Ew. But someone's still avoiding the tower. What might that be about? Scorpios? Mmm. Or whoever is dealing with the Scorpios. Mmm. Like someone just want to get that moment of truth in them. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I'm in such a good mood today. I need a good laugh. Let's see. King of Swords reversed. Oh. Someone's done. Someone's got a bad attitude and they're still really done waiting. <laughs> wow. Y'all have lost your fucking patience. This is you, Scorpio. I'm just I'm putting that right out there because, like, I'm, I'm, I was talking to a Scorpio the other day. She was, in, in her scenario, she is 110% fucking done. Like, done. Like, Just done. That is the vibe I'm getting. Like, someone's got a nasty attitude. They're sick of waiting. They don't want to put up with the waiting anymore. It's like, like with my friend that I'm telling you about right now, like, she is done. You know? The way she explained it, like, it made me like, uh. Down below in the situation, the sun reversed. Someone's not happy. Their happiness is just shot. Their happiness is just like, mmm. Let me tell you something. When the Scorpio is done, they're done. Like, they just walk away and don't look back. It's just like dealing with a Capricorn, but all emotional and shit. But Scorpio and Capricorns have a lot in common. Like, I swear, like, I think Scorpios get more annoyed with people than Capricorns do, but they're better at, like, dealing with it. Oh, there we go. What's the sun reverse? Someone's sick of waiting for an offer. That's what it feels like. Someone's not happy with what's being given to them. It's immature. It doesn't help them. I mean, like, there's potential there, but it's, like, so little. I feel like someone's just done waiting for it. Is so been told already. Nine of Wands, right? Someone's putting their guard up. Someone wants to put their guard up. Someone wants to defend themselves. Ooh. That was a bunch. Someone wants to guard themselves and are looking for options. Someone's protecting themselves when it comes to their options. Someone's not opening up when it comes to the options that are in front of them. Mm. Someone's keeping that shit under lock and key. Mm. Two of pentacles. Someone's putting their guard up to look at their options, but they're having a hard time weighing them out. With a king of cups, possibly. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This could be you, Scorpio. You might be having a hard time trying to figure things out. You're trying to keep your head above the water. 
is what I'm seeing with these options you really don't have available to you yet or you feel like you can't balance them out enough to figure out which ones are options that are worth juggling with to you I feel like I feel like you're really trying to like keep your emotions at bay oh my god yep look who just popped pop the fuck up but they're not in reverse now they are not in reverse now someone's afraid of sticking around because they know what the truth is like they know like okay group one this right here is like you know this is a fear of yours staying around is going to bring a really bad tower moment I swear, this is, like, the chick I was talking about. Like, this is a tower moment. This is, like, someone's afraid because they already know what's going to happen. Like, someone knows sticking around is going to be bad. Someone knows that, like, shit's going to get blown the fuck up if they stick around. Ten of Swords reversed. The betrayal that someone really... I feel like... Hmm. Queen of Wands reversed. Hmm, I feel like Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio, no, not, wait, 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 Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, because I thought of the S and that's what screwed me up. Okay, all right, so, someone is with somebody who's being really bitchy, really bitter, really like, I want this my way and I'm gonna have it my way regardless of how you feel. And I feel like it's because I think, and, and just hear me out, I feel like it is because they feel as though that even though they're the one hurting this one, it's not fair. Like, why are you in good health if I'm not? Why are you so pretty and get all this attention and I don't get hardly any of it? Like, someone's letting their envy get to them. And they're being very treacherous and very not loyal. Like, I won't say they're betraying. You know, like, they're not going out of their way to betray you, right? It's more along the lines of every chance they get, they'll send the sword down just to cut you so they feel better about themselves, right? This person is whole. This person looks like, you know, they're getting, they're the ones getting stabbed right here. And this person's sending it that way, which is just like, oh, why are you so much better than this? You can't do this right. You can't do that right. They're in a bad attitude. They're in the queen of wands energy right now. That's what I feel like that 10 means when it's reversed. It's like someone's doing the betrayal now. Someone's using their feelings that they are using to betray themselves to put onto you and they're having this kind of attitude. And maybe that's why group one, you are in the king of swords reverse energy where you have a bad attitude and you ain't saying shit. Because someone needs to grow the fuck up. Which I don't blame you for. Honestly, because someone was giving me shit all day. I'd just be like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm just gonna go find something to do that makes me happy and it's nothing to do with you. That shit's annoying. Ending theme. Someone's isolating themselves. The Hermit Reverse. Possibly Virgo? But someone's definitely keeping themselves isolated from either a situation or a person. Someone does not want to involve themselves. Of course it'd be words. Of course it'd be words in a song. That's nice. But yeah, someone's isolating themselves heavy because they're sick of fucking waiting. Let me see if I can find a different song because I don't want to hear words. There we go. That's better. I don't know what it is. It's just words in fucking songs when I'm doing shit that's just distracting to me, if that makes sense, right? But let's continue. Anyway, let's see what the three advice cards are you, group one. What? I'm about that's a question. Yeah. Here you are, Scorpios, wherever you may be. 
where you feel like you can't change or you don't want to change your ways for somebody <laughs> or something just isn't ending the way you wanted to it's like someone isn't learning to let go of something sentimental someone's having a hard time letting it go because possibly this page of pentacles could be a child could be just the actual energy of i'm still offering this you know someone wants to be victorious have the upper hand in this defend themselves well just like with the nine of wands up there with the seven of wands right here so let's take the action to be on the upper hand so i feel like if there is a scorpio in this they're fucking scheming i'm, just fucking, <laughs> I'm sorry to out you guys but when it comes to schemes you guys are pretty good at it i gotta say you guys always have a fucking agenda that much i appreciate about scorpios at least i always know when you're up to something i once knew a scorpio man who whenever he was nice to you he was up to something when he was a dick it was all right to deal with him that's kind of like how some Scorpios are. <laughs> you just got to know their personality before like you can assume they're up to something. Like if I like I have a coworker, if I see her talking to one person by themselves, it's just like, "Oh, she's plotting and she's trying to get into somebody's head who doesn't know better yet." That's scary. All right, what's the last device card? I need to stop talking so much shit about Scorpios. Capricorns aren't any better. <laughs> let's see what's the last device card there it is oh yeah fuck it you're just gonna take off after this even if you stay you know that the tower moment's coming that's what you're afraid of anyway Ooh, but you're moving on to better things might be a little stagnation with the ten of swords reverse but yeah you're, you're, you're willing to move on to go away from all of this crapness that's going on with you. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who you don't want to even be around anymore. You're just sick of the shit. Right? You'd rather just go because you already know with this tower right here it's not going to do any good. Okay? Let's go to group two and see what y'all are doing. Hmm? Hmm. Mm -mm. Oh, I totally forgot to write that. Two seconds, y'all. I'm being very distractivated right now. Sorry, I had to write down. I usually have to write down the titles because, like, I don't remember what the fuck I talk about in all the readings, so. Looking. What time is it? It's nine, eight o'clock. Fuck you. Yeah. Alright, group two, it is your turn for your readings. So let's see if you're the Scorpio or if you're dealing with the Scorpio or if you're just the one that might be doing the mind fuckery. We'll see here shortly. Yes, yes. All right, group two, no whammies. Let's see what's up for you. We have Temperance. Could be Sagittarius right there. It's cups reversed. Judgment reversed. Three of Wands. You're waiting. Three of Pentacles reversed. The Fool reversed. Beginning theme is Seven of Wands. You got your defenses up and you're ready to fight. Oh my goodness. You are ready to take on all of those energetic wands that are coming against you and fight them off like everybody's Kung Fu fight team. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. It's an actual song. I'm not making fun of culture or whatever people say nowadays. You kids with your funky anger and shit. <clears throat> Let's see. So we got Temperance Reversed, right? 
Could be Sagittarius. It's an alchemy coming together, trying to resolve things after a heartbreak with the Three of Wands. So someone definitely wants to come together, communicate about a heartbreak that happened. Below that is the situation with the Three of Wands where someone is waiting. Someone was sick of waiting with Group 1 and now Group 2 is like actually waiting. For Scorpio. Someone's waiting for something to change, to transmutate, to transform, for the end to come so new things can begin. Ooh. Yeah, Ace of Cups reversed. Like, someone isn't coming with an apology. Someone isn't starting something heartfelt or new. That is wants and wishes because they feel like they are victorious. So wait, what? So what? You are what? Okay, I can see why player like group one, is kind of being bitchy, just a little bit. I can, I can get, I can grasp it. I understand it, <laughs> but it's just like okay, man, that's on you. That's on you. Um, but what's going against you? The three of pentacles reversed, which I like to say is balance. He's no longer balancing his pentacles as much as he is just hanging on desperately trying to cling and keep that pose so he doesn't go da, 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 and then fall to his death right um someone's imbalanced and they're not working things out because <clears throat> they're waiting for an offer offer what <laughs> like literally like you're out of balance and like you're just hanging on hoping for an offer is that the challenge or do you need to offer something in order to gain your balance back because up here, you, you, you're you not offering anything. Like, you have two aces now, I'm thinking about it. Like, one of these is wrong. Like, that, that's how I read aces. Like, you got two, one of them's wrong, and one of them's reversed. So I'm thinking it's the ace of cups, right? So it's just like, you, you, you're you saying that you don't want this offer of love. In reality, you actually do. This is hubris. It's just like, you're saying something you don't want to actually admit. Because you got this victory going on right here. I, I, like, I totally forgot that was an ace right there. I don't know how I fucking missed that. But yeah. Like, someone is saying they don't want the apology. They don't want the relationship. They don't want a new beginning because they feel like a victor. But then over here, it's like they want to come together because of this heartbreak with temperance. So it's just kind of like... Make up your fucking mind, you know? Like... You're out of balance and you're waiting or wanting an offer to be made. Yeah, you're sitting here saying you don't want it. Because <laughs> you're good. And it's just like, make up your fucking mind. Like, which one is it? Like, you don't have to lie, man. Then we got judgment reversed here and the fears and rejections. Someone might be afraid they made the wrong judgment call. Someone might be afraid that, like, there's no resurrection in this situation. And, there, and there's a lack of faith. Uh hesitation with the full reverse down here the sacred clown in this deck that's a darkly darko the more i look at it you know yeah someone it, it might be the wrong judgment call something that might not be resurrected because of a lot of fighting five of wands right Someone might be afraid that, like, they'll either make the wrong judgment call and they'll just end up with more fighting regardless, or they have the wrong idea already in thinking that someone won't get resurrected because of all the fighting that's already been established. One of the two, right? Then we have this dude who is hesitating on, like, taking a, ooh, excuse me, a brand new journey because they want to isolate themselves. <laughs> the hermit, possibly Virgo. Someone just wants to be by themselves for a minute. They're hesitating because they're still looking inside themselves to get the right answer, I feel like. Ending theme is someone is keeping shit to themselves for security purposes only. Someone's closed off and fighting like it's a seven of wands. That's what's going on, okay? Someone's like... Like, all throughout this song, someone is just hiding their emotions. Especially this hubris Ace of Cups right here, since this Ace of Pentacles is right here. This is the true answer. Like, someone's challenge is, like, they are in violence and they want this. The problem is they're lying because they're fucking cocky, right? And they're hiding their true intentions behind this 
whole I'm going to defend myself kind of thing, you know, with the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like someone's hiding their actual feelings, and maybe that's why Group One's just sick of waiting on you. <laughs> it's just like, what are you waiting for? Well, they need to look into themselves because they still have hesitations. They're still worried about the arguments, the fighting, right? They're like they're waiting for things to change. Possibly even the Scorpio to change since that card lays there. Or maybe they're just waiting for the Scorpio to come in and destroy everything. Yeah, they're still looking for a love offer, even though they aren't giving it. <laughs> like, group two. Like, there's still an offer of love here. It might be immature, but it's Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Maybe they will come in and offer that love in the end. Oh, still waiting. You're still waiting. You're still being patient. You're still putting things in to see what comes back out. Like, even if you get this love offer, you're still going to be sitting there like, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, dude, okay. This one's going to be offering. You're not offering anything just yet. You're delayed. You're stalled. Just like it's saying all throughout this, like, group two, like, you're just, like, there's a period, there is a period of waiting. One's made the offer, the other one hasn't even bothered, and they're still waiting for an offer, so it's just like, there are two people, they both want to offer something. This one's being open, more open about it than before, but this one is just, they're, they're, they're in hermit mode, they aren't even trying to like, they're too insecure, and they're too defensive, I feel like. Not even offensive, it's more like, they're putting up an offense because they don't know how to let their guard down. That's what it feels like to me. But... That was your reading, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.